movie, uh, it's it's about time. It's actually about language and communication more than anything. But time is a very prevalent theme of it because, as you talked about, she is experiencing these flashbacks, which are actually flash forwards. Right. Once she, uh, it's explained that when you start to think about language and time and expressing thoughts and feelings and communicating like they do in a nonlinear fashion, that's how you start to live and see the world in a nonlinear fashion, right? So my question to you guys was, uh, after seeing the movie this second time, I haven't seen this since it came out, but I was rewatching it and I'm like, now that I'm thinking about the time aspect, I don't know that I buy the early flashbacks before she has started to learn the language because how is she seeing the future before she's even starting to learn the alien's language. Like, the whole point of being able to do that is because she learns it, and then it opens up. But does anyone agree that I, I f- don't quite buy that as much? Like, it worked from a story aspect, and I get why they wrote it that way, but, you know, if she hasn't met the aliens yet, how can she be thinking in a way that reflects having met them already? And you're laughing up a storm over there. I feel like you're about to, sh- to shred it, so go you, for it. Do you have the answer? Do you want to do it? you want to tag team it? I want Justin Redenbaugh to time in first. To be, well, I know honestly, it's not. Tell those him. aren't. Those haven't happened yet in the first part of the. Crush him. Tell so him. basically, like, she's narrating those parts, and those parts haven't happened yet. Like, the, the story is starting with her at, at the college, but everything, it's nonlinear. So, like, those memories haven't happened yet. But the way that you're, like, the way that that language works is once you understand the language, you're now getting, like, if you think about your own memory, like right now, those things fade in and out. Like your your old memories of of like the big parts of like of memory, you don't even think about years. You just have these memories flood back to your brain, and then they fade back out. The same way that she sees the future and the past now. So like all everything that's happened in the those first scenes, m- mostly it's to throw you off. Because whenever you see and whenever you see her at the college, she looks melancholy and she looks like sad and down. But if you look at those scenes like very intricately and you look at her face, like whenever she's playing with um, the daughter and when the daughter's in like the cowboy or cowgirl uniform, you can see she's crying, but she's not crying because uh, she's happy. She's crying because she already knows what's going to happen in like, what is it, five to six years from then when she's going to, you know, pass away. So for us, that's just it's a plot device of us being like, Oh, like she, she had a daughter pass away and now she sat at a college, but for in the movie, she just hasn't seen those. That hasn't happened yet. It's just that that's just a plot device to throw us completely off how the story is working right now. That is incorrect. Time, incorrect. Time is a circle. So it, Hit him with it, Zach. correct in the regard that it definitely is like a plot device at the beginning of the movie. Oh yeah, for sure. But there's so, and I, I could be wrong here, but, I, I, I watch a fucking YouTube video, okay? So, like, <laughs> you know, you know, I fucking know. But, no, and then thinking about the movie. So, there is this, like, question in the movie about, you know, certain languages, uses of certain words. And so, there's this idea, is is it a weapon or is it a tool? You know, so when she goes and sees the aliens to the point where the aliens are talking to her, where we get the subtitles, they say to her, like, Luis is the weapon. Or, like, it says, like, Luis is a weapon or some Mm -hmm. shit. And it's... So I took it, and the help of YouTube, um, that she is, to an extent, like, gifted. And it's, like, it's important that, you know, they already knew that she was going to be the one. Like, in regard that once she is, like, opened up and, like, fully understands, like, this gift slash, like quasi ability she has like the aliens already knew that so it was important that she was the one that was like granted this task of like dealing with them Derek that's exactly right once you learn so many languages you get control of time is essentially what they're saying but or some shit or some shit or some shit so here's here's where I think we're missing the gap I think you're all holding little pieces of the the puzzle let me try to connect it Time is a circle. Yes. Okay? When she unlocks the alien languages, it's It's like Mario Kart, and she can cut through the cave, and she gets to jump the line. Okay? So, what what you're saying is like, well, she hadn't met the aliens yet. How can she see the future? It's because she's already met the aliens a thousand times. 
it's a reoccurring loop. It's going to keep happening again and again and again and again and again and again. And what the aliens are trying to give them is the language to keep that from happening. But she's lived this life a thousand times because traditionally time goes in a circle. Yeah, so in regards to the point of the movie where she is having the conversation with General... Yeah, Forrest Whitaker. General Forrest Whitaker. General Forrest Whitaker. The the Asian guy. She's having the conversation with the Asian guy at the gala. No, I don't want to be racist. Hang on. Let me actually look. General Chang. Chang, Chang. I was close. So she's having a conversation with him, and he whispers you know, into her ears his wife's dying words. She gets the phone number from that. Like in this, in the regard that you're speaking with times being a circle, like in the process of the movie, the meeting of the aliens happens later. But as soon as the movie starts, these things have already all happened. Right. Right. So we're seeing it as like what appears to be a flashback. Right. But it's just, they haven't alluded yet that she sees all realms of time in her life. And keep in mind, the story begins where she's, she's ending hannah's book right that's how she opens the story so really in some regards the story starts at the end and then we flash back and we watch the whole thing with the aliens that's what i well so i kind of pictured so the way and maybe i just didn't like... <laughs> I, not Uh-oh. not not interrupt you or cut you Go off ahead. but after the aliens arrive yeah she goes to class the next day. Yeah. And nobody's there. Right. And I was like, why the fuck would you go to work? Because she already knows. She already knows. She already knows. 